Diana here from Garden Love. Today I'm making a video um, to share with you guys the top five seeds that I'm going to be growing this upcoming season. This is actually a collaboration with Greeting Tree Farm. Um, she was tagged by someone else and I'll put the links down below so you guys can check out her channel. It's an amazing channel. She teaches you how to do a lot of things in the garden and also in the kitchen, which is an area where I need a lot of help <laughs> but anyways guys let me show you guys the top five seeds that I am going to be growing this season um, I order seeds from Baker Creek um, I've seen nothing but great reviews from them and I've heard the germination um, success is like really close to a hundred and for that reason I wanted to give it a try the first one and the reason why I decided to give this one uh, Baker Creek a try is because I've ordered seeds for this rosella red several times from different vendors um, and i have not had success with germinating the seed and after if if i did manage to germinate the seed um the plant just didn't do that well so i'm gonna give them a try i'm very excited about this because i'm able to make jelly and um, fresh water out of this it's actually um the these little buds that you see here it's what you harvest and you you either boil it or you can make jam with it. So I'm really excited. I hope that I'm able to finally grow this. This is the third season that I'm trying. So it's definitely one of my top priorities to growing it in the garden. Another thing I want to try is the yellow squash. As you guys can see, the yellow squash looks adorable, delicious. I've had it before. I don't see it often in the stores. And for that reason, I want to grow something that um, it's not commonly purchased in the stores and I want to give it a try. Now, if you guys follow me last season, you guys know that I harvest a ton of cucumbers growing on this trellis that I put here against the fence. They did fantastic. I love cucumbers. We always make cucumber salads. And for that reason, I wanted to try the cucumber lemon. Cucumber lemon, I, my sister-in-law actually grew it in her yard last year. It tasted amazing. It actually had a citrus taste in it and I fell in love with it. So I have to give it a try and try to grow it in my garden myself. Um, Didi, if you're watching this, thank you for growing that and letting us taste it. I'm so excited. Um, that was number three. Now this next one has, it's actually all over YouTube. Everybody's tried them. I also tried growing these from seeds last season and I didn't succeed. So I'm gonna give it a try with Baker Creek seeds to see if I managed to grow them a lot better this time. You guys can see is the cute, what is it called? The Mexican sour cucumber. Uh, it's just little cucumbers. They look like mini little watermelons. I thought this would be fun for Lily to harvest and taste and enjoy. Um, always looking for things to um, entice my little baby that are, you know, so growing things that are delicious and fun and healthy for her to enjoy. And lastly, but not least, um, I'm gonna give this long bean Chinese red noodles a try. Now, I haven't figured out where exactly I'm going to try growing this because it is a vine as well. I have a few ideas, but that's not gonna hold me back. I'm still gonna give it a try. Um, I'm gonna try growing this. They look delicious, and as you guys can see, they're red and they're pretty long. So I'm very excited about trying to grow this in my garden. Those are the top five seeds that I am going to um, to grow. And while I'm here, I want to take this opportunity to show you guys how I was able to germinate this um, germinate the seeds this year. Because last year I had 100% failed <laughs> that failed success when it came to germinating seeds. And this year I did a little bit more research and I put a little bit more time and effort into it and um and i succeeded and let me just go back a little bit i actually did manage to germinate the seeds but what i didn't know last year is that certain seeds require a container bigger than others depending on what kind of plant it is so this year i grew them in um, larger pots okay so what i did this year is i basically just took a container like this and then i took some little containers as you guys can as you can see in there I put the seeds in there, I put water, I close it up, and then I order a light such as this. You guys can see that. Put it in there and it's been doing amazing. I've actually already transplanted a few of the seeds 
from this container into um, into either pots or in the ground. As you guys can see behind me, there's already some plants here. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. And um, so yeah, it was very easy considering that I haven't um, grow a lot of things from seeds. This was a lifesaver. It was a lot easier, easy to maintain, easy to watch over. Absolutely loved it. Now these are little seedlings. They still have a long way before they can come out here and it's pretty hot today which I'm very excited about. I'm going to be giving you guys a recording a few videos today because it's been cloudy and ugly the last few days. Today's Saturday and I'm so excited and thrilled to have some sunshine here on a day that I'm off. Anyways, that, anyways guys that will conclude this video. I am so excited um, to be able to finally make it. It took me a while but um, I'm glad that it's done now um, and yeah I'm excited to to put this up and the person that I'm gonna tag is Lead Farmer 73 he's another plant enthusiastic like I am he grows a lot of fruit trees like I do but he, I know he also grows things from seeds or he purchased them so I am excited and eager to know what he is gonna be growing in the vegetable department because that's an area like myself that we don't share as often um, so if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about growing or a lot more about growing um, fruit trees in the ground because he has an island where he grows fruit trees in the ground and has a lot more space than I do go check his channel out and um, and I'm hoping he can share what he's growing in his raised beds this upcoming season all right guys I'm excited I hope you guys are too I hope you guys are out there trying to get some organic food in your family's kitchen garden or kitchen table I should say I'll see you guys in the next one love you guys I can't wait to see you in the next one bye bye